all right guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy pc dpl and today i'm back with another tutorial today guys i'll be showing you how to master and mix quality vocals uh in uh, cubase adobe audition or ever studio so basically what i'll be teaching you today all the techniques that are that i'll be teaching you today guys you can apply in uh, fl studio cubase or adobe audition but in my case i'm using cubase 5. all right so uh, i have a project right here i have a project right here which i just recorded uh a week ago i'm going to play the chorus for you which is mastered and mixed all right here we go she said she want me to dance That I should dance with her But I dance like a boss And she dance like a star She said she want me to dance That I should dance with her But I dance like a boss And she dance like a star Oh yeah baby, dance like a star I will dance like a boss Cause I am a boss And you are a star Oh yeah baby, dance like a star I will dance like a boss Cause I am a boss And you are a star Come on, come on, get on the dance floor Come on, come on Alright, so without wasting much of your time Let's get into this I hope you guys uh, love the chorus And uh, how everything else is coming out Alright, so first things first uh, What I'll do is I'll remove all the effects from this uh, I'll remove all the effects from uh, this track which I used so that we start so that I start explaining one by one. All right. Yeah. Let me. Okay. Right, good there. Let me also mute the beat. And let me remove this track from the group. Okay. Let's hear the the raw vocal without anything without any effect. She says she want me to dance. That I should dance with her But I dance like a boss And she dance like a star She says she want me to dance Yeah, so that's how that's how our vocal sounds Without any effect, without any plugin That's how our vocal sounds Alright, so now let's get into the main business Let's get into the main thing Okay, so we open our track right there So, uh, the first thing that you guys are supposed to put that The, the first effect or, or, or plugin rather which I always start with is uh, the compressor. All right, so I use this compressor, Fab Filter Pro C2. Yeah, this compressor is nice, and uh, you can download this uh, plugin. It's free, actually. Yeah. All right, so this is my compressor right here, right there. So I set my compressor to plus 6.13 dB. What is important is for you guys to know the functions of each and, and every plugin. All right, so let's let's see our vocal with the compressor, how it sounds. She says she want me to dance, that I should dance with her. All right, without the compressor. Uh, but I dance like a boss. Yeah, I hope you guys can hear the, can, can hear the difference. Yeah, so what the compressor does is that it compresses the vocal and it also increases the the, the volume in the vocal. Then uh, the next uh, plugin is uh, the Fab Filter uh, Pro Q3. Actually, this is um, an EQ. This is an EQ. <coughs> I really love this EQ. It's one of my favorite EQs. Yeah, this is one of my favorite EQs. All right, so on my EQ, what I've done is... I've removed the bass from that part. Uh, you, you're not you're not supposed to have too much bass in your vocal. So the bass, and I cut out some mids here, and I just put these uh, highs a bit. Yeah, that's for my EQ. So these are the values, the correct values. Maybe you want to copy or get some some values. Yeah, this is the second value, and that one there. All right. So the yeah, let me play it. Let me play it with um let me play the vocal now with uh, the EQ that we've added. She says she want me to dance that I should dance with her without but I dance like a boss with and she dance like a star without she says she want me to dance that I should dance with her with but I dance like a boss and she dance like a 
Yeah, I hope you guys can get the difference there. All right, so uh huh. The next plugin that we're going to put is the get. As you guys can hear in the vocal. She says she want me to dance. As you can hear in the vocal, we have there's some noise which there's some noise like in the background. There's some noise. Yeah, so mostly the noise comes from um maybe your headsets when you're recording the song or just the background noise maybe the uh, the keyboard when you're trying to pause or typing yeah all that can affect the vocal so what do we do to remove such noise what we do is we add this one the get so what the get does is that it removes all the background noise and just leaves your vocal clean so my get is set to negative 26.9 all right so the next plugin is uh all right let me play the vocal first before the get that i should dance with her but i dance like i hope you guys can get the difference all the background noise is gone so the next uh, plugin now is auto tune this is my auto tune yeah my keys my uh, the key of this song is a a major so my auto tune is set on four i hope you guys know the settings here if you guys don't know the settings about auto tune just write in the comment there just give me a comment how I, I can do a tutorial now to balance your auto tune and everything yeah having added our auto tune the next thing that you are supposed to add is denoiser actually what it de what the denoiser does is that it removes the noise so this is my denoiser there i've set my denoiser on low make sure it's on low yeah as let's now hear the vocal with uh having put the denoiser how it sounds she says she want me to dance that i should dance with her but i dance like a boss yeah i hope you guys can get that i hope you guys can hear that the vocal is clean and sweet all right uh but in our vocal we can still get some s sounds like tss. but i get we said we can still get some s sounds so what we do to remove such sounds that uh, we add a dsa so a dsa eliminates or rather cle uh, it cleans all those a sounds yeah so it's our dsa my dsa is set at five and male and then the next plugin which i added is this one the stereo enhancer this uh, plugin is in uh, cubase yeah it's an inbuilt uh, plugin so what the stereo enhancer does that it it makes the vocal audible through your speakers so my DSS, my stereo and is set on 145, 145 there, width. All right, so that's for the track. Then uh, now let's go to uh, let's go to our group. Let's see what we've added in the group. So I'm gonna connect this track to my group. I named my group as Group One. So let's go to Group One and check what we have. All right, so mm -hmm. yeah, so this is uh, my group. Let me also mute this so that I start explaining step by step. Having uh, linked our track to to the to the group, so this is our our this is our the vocal sounds now. This is how the vocal sounds now. She want me to dance, that I should dance with her, mm -hmm. but I dance like a boss. And she danced like a star. She said she want me to dance. That is All right. So, <clears throat> so in the group, I've added uh, this one, the Fab Future Pro, the EQ again. Yeah. What I have done here is that I've removed the bass, reduced some mids here and some highs here. Yeah. So what you basically do is this: you raise this, this knob high. You, f you try by all means to find any uh like noisy noisy frequencies which we don't need like for example let's let me play this part here dance that i should dance with her but i dance like a boss so and what you try to do like is just she move this she knob here me to dance that i should dance with her but i dance like right there there's that noise which i don't like or rather need so you pull this down 
Yeah, so I did the same even here. I searched for the bad frequency and then I turned the knob. I turned the the knob down. Yeah, so that's for the for the EQ. And then the next thing which I added in the group is uh um is maximizer. What maximizer does is that it ma it maximizes the vo the volume in the vocal. It gives the vocal that strength or rather the power. Yeah, so this is our vocal. It's now played without maximizer. She says she want me to dance with maximizer. Let me play now the vocal with maximizer. She says she want me to dance that I shouldn't without but I dance like a with and she dance like a star. She says she want me to dance. I hope you guys can get the difference there. All right, so the last uh, plugin which I added in my f in my group is. Uh, Is this one here? Is the DSR the Fab Filter Pro DS? Yeah. So these are the correct readings for the DSR, the range, and the threshold. Yeah. So we are good to go. So this is how our vocal sounds now, having put all the plugins I've explained and mentioned. This is how it sounds now. She says she want me to dance. That I should dance with her. But I dance like a boss, and she dance like a star. She says she want me to dance, that I should dance with her. But I dance like a boss, and she dance like a star. Oh, oh yeah, baby, dance, dance like, like a star. star. I will dance like. All right, all right. So that's how our vocal sounds. She want me to dance. And then, the last thing now, which I added was uh, the 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 reverb. This is a uh, Fab Filter Pro R. My reverb is, in s is set on negative 1.53. That's where my, re my reverb is set. And I also added uh, this ping pong delay. It's from Cubase. Yeah. So when you're dealing with, cube, uh, when you're dealing with delays and uh, reverbs, this one it depends with the mood of your track. Like it depends on how you f you're, you're feeling your song. So your delay or rather your reverb shouldn't be too much or too little because if it's too little it would leave your vocal dry and if it's too much it might distort uh, your music so this is how our, our vocal sounds now having added reverb and uh, delay she says she want me to dance that i should dance with her but i dance like a boss and she dance like a star she says she want me to dance that I should dance with her, but I dance like a boss, and she dance like a star. Oh, yeah, baby, dance like a star. I will dance like, I will dance like a boss, and she dance like a star. Oh, yeah, baby, dance like a star. I will dance like a boss. All right, let's now play the the. Let's now play everything. Uh, as we unmute the beat, let's now play everything all together with the beat. She says she want me to dance. That I should dance with her, but I dance like a boss. And she dance like a star She says she want me to dance That I should dance with her But I dance like a boss And she dance like a star Oh yeah baby dance like a star I will dance like a boss Cause I am a boss And you are a star Oh yeah baby dance like a star I will dance like a boss Cause I am a boss And you are a star Alright guys so that's it Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys learned some techniques how to go about this uh, this uh, this vocal uh, issue. Yeah. So if you guys feel there's something I should explain, or if you guys feel there's something I should talk about concerning music or plugins, make sure you write down there in the comment box. Give me suggestions on what video I should do next. And thank you very much for watching. Keep glued to this channel. Invite friends, like, subscribe, and share. Bye. Come on, come on, get on the dance.